Hi, this video uh, gives you example for expectation maximization algorithm. Uh, here, uh, let's consider two kinds A and B where both have different head probability. Getting the when you are tossing the coin, uh, what is the probability to get the head? To get the head, randomly choosing a coin uh, five times, uh, either that that may be a coin A or coin B. Then each coin selection is followed by tossing it 10 times. So when you are selecting the coin, coin selection for 5 times. So in this 5 times, you may select either coin A or coin B. So when if you select the coin A, that should be tossed up for 10 times. So that is the given process. So from this, what is the probability of selecting the coin A? and what is the probability of selecting the coin B. So here the outcomes are given for each time. So when you are first time you are selecting the coin then tossing for 10 times. So in that 5 times you are getting the head, 5 times you are getting the tail. Second time you are selecting one coin, we do not know which coin A or B. You are tossing for 10 times continuously, you are getting 9 times head, 1 time tail and selecting uh, uh, again one coin we do not know either A or B you are tossing for 10 times continuously you are getting 8 head, eight times head 8 times so 2 times tails. Uh, again fourth time you are selecting a coin that is also we are unaware uh, coin A or B uh, we are tossing for continuously 10 times you are getting 4 times head 6 times tail like that fifth time you are selecting one coin. Uh, here also we are unaware coin A or B, uh, we are uh, tossing for continuously 10 times, we are getting 7 times head, 3 times tail. The, here the problem is, what is the probability of uh, getting the coin A or B? So we have to identify the coin, right? So here um, uh, for getting the probability of coin with the head, when you are tossing, that is denoted as theta denoted as theta. So the goal is here uh, estimate the probability of getting head when you are tossing the each coin uh, every time. Uh, here the variables are required that are not observed in the data. So here we uh, the unobserved variable is unobserved variable is uh, latent variable. Latent variable or unobserved variable is here which coin is going to be selected A or B that is the latent variable. We have the outcomes uh, from that we have to calculate the coin is selected A or B by using the Bayesian theorem right. So here the coin identity is the latent variable. We know two kinds are there A and B. We are uh, having the five sets of outcomes. Initial guess as per the given uh, algorithm right initially we are assigning the values to the parameters so this is the flow chart so latent variable is identified latent variable is coin selection coin selection is the latent variable that should be either a or b initial guessing we have to assign the values to the theta so now we are assigning the values to theta so the, for theta uh, for coin A, theta A, for coin B, we are assigning the theta B. So initially, randomly, we are selecting the values the, for the theta A and the theta B that range from the 0 to 1. So here, we are assigning the theta A is uh, randomly, we are selecting 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. So here, 0 0.2 or 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. So no relationship between the theta a and theta b that means there is no need of summation between the theta a and theta b equal to 1. So now we are selecting randomly initial values yes theta a is 0 0.6 theta b is 0 0.5. So now as per the flow chart here we are we have taken theta a is 0 0.6 theta b is 0 0.5 initial values are so applied and we have outcomes the outcomes are the x features okay x features now we have the outcomes from that we are applying the e step expectation step right so in that e step 
we have to calculate you look at that expectation step we have to calculate so what are the outcomes probability of outcomes when you are choosing the coin a probability of outcomes e uh, when you are selecting the coin b right so that we have to calculate now right so here in the expectation step we are going to calculate probability of e the selecting the coin a or b x is just a unknown variable either it may be a, a or b so the common formula is uh, n factorial so n is the total number of times coin is tossing total number of coin tossing each time total number of tossing times total number of tossing times when you are selecting the coin a to get the outcomes then this is head h is total number of times you are getting the head in each set in each time then this is the n is total number of times tie in is causing total number of times you are getting the uh, head so this n minus h is provide you getting the tail getting the tail then the theta value is the uh, given already uh, for uh, each and kind theta a i mean a for and b kind h is representing the head 1 minus theta uh, x this is tails number of times getting the tail number of time time uh, coin tossing and number of times getting the head so n minus h means you will get the number of times you are getting the tail so here we are taking uh, first set first set is eight times you are getting the uh, head right sorry as uh, for example we are taking the third set eight times you are getting the head two times tail right so for that you look at that eight times you are getting the head two times tail here we are choosing the coin probability probability of getting the outcomes this one with coin a what is the probability so n factorial here uh, h factorial multiply with n minus h factorial theta a power h and this one is the here 1 minus theta a 1 minus theta a theta a is already given 0 0.6 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 then n minus h factorial the 2 right then you are getting the value this one then probability of getting uh, outcomes with kind b kind b so now we are using the parameter value theta b theta b right so theta b is used then you are calculating the values so like that for each set you have to calculate then after that what is the selection of coin from the outcomes what is the probability of selecting the coin from the outcomes so for that probability of coins x given outcomes divided by total probability of coins x and y both coins given outcomes so the formula is uh, probability of outcomes e given the coin x multiplied with prior probability probability of uh, choosing the coin x here probability of outcomes given coin x multiplied with probability of choosing the coin x plus probability of uh, outcomes getting from the coin y and probability of coin y so this is what we have taken so here among the two kinds the probability of choosing one kind is uh, 50 50 okay so probability of jet a and jet b is 0 0.5 so two kinds are there so out of two kinds one kind will be selected so 1 by 2 so 0 0.5 now uh, we have calculating for the selecting the coin a so this is the uh, probability of choosing the coin a given outcomes so uh, when you are substituting the values for this uh, uh, terms you are getting finally 0 0.73 for 8 times head 2 times tail and for selecting the coin b right for selecting the coin b from the outcomes in the set 3 you are getting 0 0.27 so likewise you have to calculate for all the five sets all the five sets so when you are up, uh, ca calculating for the, all the five sets choosing the coin a the probability you see the set 3 0 0.73 so that is what given here for uh, coin b selecting 0 
to 7. So this is given here. So like that when you are applying for all 5 sets, choosing the coin A, set 1 0 0.45, choosing the coin B 0 0.55, uh, choosing the coin A for set 2 0 0.8, choosing the kind for set 2, 0 0.2, like that we have to calculate for set 4 and 5. Then we are calculating the total number of heads for each coin. Estimate the, what is the question here? The question is here already given, goal is estimating the probability of getting the heads of each coin, heads of each coin. This is the goal. So that is why we are calculating only getting the total number of heads of each coin here, total number of heads for each coin. It is calculated based upon the uh, calculated choosing the ratio, uh, choosing the coin uh, ratio. So for that, we can uh, we can have uh, taken we can take uh, total heads and tails for coin X. It is similar to the complete data. So multiply the ratio of each coin to the number of heads. So the take the set 1. So this is iteration number 1. In the iteration number 1, choosing the coin, this is the 0 0.5. So, 0 0.45 multiplied with multiplied with the number of times you are getting the head. Right? Like that, number of times you are getting the head, choosing the coin B, 0 0.55. So, like that, set 5, uh, 7 times you are getting the head. Only we are calculating for the head. Then choosing the coin A, 0 0.65. So we are getting the value, estimated value. Estimation of selection, getting the head. Estimation of getting the head by uh, B, 7 times you are getting the head, this value. Then choosing the coin B is 3.5. So you are getting the 2.45. Now you have to calculate, then again you go for iteration. So now uh, iteration 2. Iteration 2. So, uh, for iteration 2, you have to calculate the, update the parameter, update the parameter. So, theta already, theta A is 0 0.6, theta B is 0 0.5. So, now we are going for maximization step. In the maximization step, we will update the parameters. We will update the parameters to get maximum likelihood hypothesis. So, for that, the formula is sum of estimated values of chi in X at each iteration i, then number of times tossing the coin multiplied with ratio of selecting the coin x. So here this is for coin a, this, these are the sum of the probabilities of estimated value. So here we have estimated the value 0 0.45, 0 0.8, sorry, uh, estimated values in the iteration 1. So this is the estimate e step, this is the e step, estimated value in the iteration 1, okay, this is the E step. So, in the E step, we got the values, these things for coin A, these are the coin B estimated values. So, estimated values, then number of times coin tossing, then these are all ratio of selecting the coin, coin choosing the coin, right, probability of coin A. This is the choosing the coin of probability. Uh, uh, choosing the probability of coin B. So, this is given here. So, this is for theta B. Now, theta A is 0 0.713, uh, 0, this is 0 0.581. So, in earlier theta A is 0 0.6. Okay, now it is updated. Uh, earlier theta A is 0 0.5. Now, it is 0 0.581. It is now updated. So, after updation, right, after updation, as per the flow chart, what we have to do? Uh, now theta is updated theta a theta b is updated now i want to go for second iteration so with this new theta a new theta b okay 0 0.71 and 0 0.5 something okay 0 0.5 something right so initially theta a is 0 0.6 uh, this, this this values okay now we are going with new theta values again i am estimating the coins ratio Okay, again I am going to select in the, uh, calculating the coins selection. Now, in the estimation step, this next iteration I will get, uh, uh, this is the first iteration over, right, 0 0.581, 0 0.713. This is the value, 0 0.581, 0 0.713. Now, second iteration we are going, 
uh, we will when you are up, updating that you will get 0 0.745 0 0.69 again the difference is there 0 0.0342 uh, when you are continuing this iterations uh, seventh iteration you are you look at that uh, seven, 0 0.796 per a here uh, eighth iteration also 0 0.796 ninth iteration also 0 0.97 here you are getting 0 0.521 here 0 0.52 0 0.52 so which are all close to each other the difference is very meager so here we can stop the algorithm so no, the this is the uh, I, I, uh, ratio of choosing the kin a and kin b so this is the convergence so now uh, with number of maximum number of iterations we can stop the algorithm or uh, there is no significant improvement in the parameter to compare with earlier iteration. So, we can stop the algorithm. So, this is the example for uh, EM algorithm. Thank you for watching.